Okay then, in this video we'll set up a PostGIS database. You may already know that PostGIS is a spatial extension of PostgreSQL. Um, and if you would like to know more about PostGIS database, you can find some more information on the official PostGIS website, which is postgis.net. So we will be installing PostGIS through Stack Builder. Stack Builder is an utility tool that comes with PostgreSQL. So I am right now on the official website of PostGIS.net and you can read in here which says the simplest way to get PostGIS on Windows would be through um, Stack Builder. So we will be downloading PostgreSQL and then we will run Stack Builder Utility to install PostGIS. So let's get started. So we need to go to the official website of PostgreSQL, which is this one, postgresql.org. Then we need to go to download section. So in here you have several options. So based on your operating system, choose the appropriate one. In my case, it's gonna be Windows. So once you click on that, click on this download the installer link. And then in here, you have several PostgreSQL versions. At the time recording this video, the latest version of PostgreSQL is this one, 14. And I'm gonna be installing Windows 64 because my operating system runs on 64-bit. Unfortunately, there is no support for 32-bit. So that means you should be, if you're on Windows, you should be on 64-bit. So let click on this one and it's gonna download PostgreSQL into your machine. I have already downloaded this software, PostgreSQL, onto my desktop and I'll be running this. So I'm gonna click next and then that's a folder where this one will be installed, that's fine. And then here, make sure that Stack Builder has been checked on. So this will be installed along with PostgreSQL server. And PG Admin is a web, web browser that allows you, it's not a web browser, sorry, it's an application, web application that allows you to interact with your PostgreSQL server. So basically, Everything should be ticked on in here. So let's click next and then next. So basically next, next, next. And then this should start installing PostgreSQL. So it says that please ensure that PG admin server is shut down. So it looks like my PG admin is still running. So I'm gonna close it. So the process of installing PostgreSQL is done now. So let's click on this one. It's by default ticket ticket. So it says launch stack builder at exit. So I'm happy with this because we need to install uh, PostGIS extension. So that's why I'll click finish. And this is stack builder utility. So in here uh, we need to select our PostgreSQL. So that's uh, that. PostgreSQL 14 is the one I just installed and PostgreSQL 12 was already in there. So we need, I, I'm gonna be selecting PostgreSQL 14 and then click next. And then in here, spatial extensions. And then I'll be selecting this one because this is the latest version, which is Post, PostGIS 3.1 and then click next. So that's a download directory and I'm happy with that. And then I'll just click next. So now it says that all the installation files have now been successfully downloaded. So now let's click, click next. So then install uh, PostGIS extension. So I'll click yes. 
and then here it's going to install PostJS but you make sure that you tick this one create spatial database because we will be creating a spatial database so then next and then here username is Postgres and password would be Postgres in my case and as I said before I already have um, Postgres SQL version 12 running on port 40 uh, 5432 that's why it's now proposing me 5433 port so but in your case um, it should be uh, 5432 unless you have you know other Postgres SQL or something running on port 5432 so now let's click next and then so database name so in my case I'm gonna call my database Austral then culture heritage project so then install and this should install PostGIS extension plus it should create a database call it Austral culture heritage project so now it's asking me whether I would like to register Progelib environment I'm gonna click yes yes here yes and then that's all yes and then let's click close and then finish so now if you type in PG admin in your um, in your start window then it there should be an application call it PG admin and then you just click on that and this is actually a browser based or web based um, application so if you open your servers so there should be two actually I'm seeing one let me refresh this one so I'll just close this and then PG admin so this is actually the latest version of PG admin the previous one I showed you is PG admin version uh, previous version that that uh, that was installed along with Postgres SQL version 12 so this is actually uh, from PG um, sorry from Postgres SQL version uh, 14 so as you can see I have now Postgres SQL 14 and then I'm gonna type in my password which is Postgres and if you go to databases so this is Australia culture heritage project uh, that's that's the one uh, created uh, in the by the stack builder so if you just open up this and then in the extensions there should be PostGIS so you see PostGIS and then it also enabled other extensions like PostGIS raster the PostGIS raster is needed if you will be uh, working with raster data in your Django uh, project and you can also check whether you have PostGIS installed or not by going to the query uh, to the query to this one query tool and then you just need to write this code select postgres full version so and then if you run this so it, it tells you the version you have installed uh, into your database so in my case it's postgres version 3.1 so that's how you install postgres sql and then enable PostGIS extension in your database. So in the next video, we'll continue this session.